Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CapTech Pro. In this video, we'll see how we can create and customize a content type. And later on, we'll see how we can basically associate a te document template with the content type. So friends, let's go to our lab environment and let's see how we can do that. Okay friends, so now we are on our SharePoint Admin Center and uh, to demonstrate today's video, I have created one site, a brand new site with the name of content type. Let me open this site in a new tab. So friends, before we proceed to create a content type, let me give you a brief introduction about the content type. So basically content types help make it easy to provide a consistency across a site. We can uh, create and customize a content type uh, with the characteristics that uh, we want such as certain template, specific metadata and so on. Uh, let me give you an example. When a user chooses an item from uh, the new item inside the document library or a new document from the menu, we can ensure that customized content is used. So basically we uh, the content types are created in a SharePoint admin center and are you know saved in the SharePoint content type hub. So friends on this video, I will show you how we can create a content type at, uh, you know, entire tenant level. Uh, we can create a content type at site level as well. So for creating a content type at tenant level, uh, in the SharePoint admin center, you can see here it is written content services. We'll click on it. And here we will get an option of content type gallery. We'll click on it to create a content type. Uh, we'll click on this create content type. It will ask you to enter the name of the content type. Let me give it a name tenant level. You can enter the description over here related to this content type. So I will just simply copied the name of the content type and paste it in the description. Now it will ask you to choose the category. So basically there are two radio buttons, use an existing category, which is custom content types, display template content and J, uh, content type is JavaScript display template. But if you want, you can click on create new categories to create a new category content type. So we'll go with the use an existing category. From the drop down menu, you will get uh, these many options. So later we will be deploying, uh, you know, the word docs, uh, you know, template. So we'll go with the document content type here. And in the parent content type, we can choose the content type that we want to base this content type on. So in the parent category, I will again select the document content types from these options. And in the content type, there are these many options. So we'll again click on document. So now I will click on create to create my content type. All right. So you can see my content type is created and these are the, you know, the side columns, which you can add over here by default. It will give you the two columns name and title, which you can use. So we have created the content type at tenant level with the name of tenant level. This is our content type name. Now friends, let's see how we can associate a document template with a content type. So for that, we have to click on settings. And here we have the option of advanced settings. We'll click on it. All right. So now the first option is specify the document template for this content type. So you can use an ex existing template. If any template is saved inside SharePoint site, you can enter the URL over here, but we want to, we do not have the, any template as of now. So we'll click on upload a new document template. So here you will get an option to upload a template. I will click on upload and in my desktop, I have already created one of my templates. So this is my CapTech Pro template. I will use this template. Click on OK. OK, so our template is now uploaded. Now below this, you will get an option of permissions. So we have to choose whether the content type is uh, modifiable or and these settings can be changed later from the page by anyone with the permission to edit this type. So we'll go with the edit option. Yes, we want my template to be editable. And the last option is update sites and list. So if you will uncheck this box, this content type will be updated or list and content types inerting from this content type with the settings of this page. So we'll, so we'll check this box and now we'll click on save. All right. Now after this, there is a, if you want to edit this content type, you can click on edit. There is an option to publish this uh, content type. So publish option is checked. I will click on save. All right. So our content type is, you know, published. Now we'll go to my site content type and let's see how we can consume this content type at my content type site document library level. So I will, I will go to this site. Let me close this. I will go to site contents. 
and here I have one document library with the name of documents. I will open it. All right. So if any of my user, you know, navigate to come to this document library, he will click on new. As of now, you can see he is not getting the option to use that template, which we have associated with the content type. So for that, what we need to do, we'll click on add column. And from here, if I will scroll down here, you will see, we'll get an option of add a content type. So I will click on it. I will click on next. So here you can see choose a content type. If I will select this drop down menu, you can see our content type, which we created at tenant level can be seen over here. I will check this box. I will click on apply. All right. You can see it's adding one content type. All right. It's added. I will refresh the page once. Now our users, once they will go to this document library, they will click on new and you can see over here. Now they are getting the option to create a document using the template. So let me click on it. So you can see this is the template which I have associated with this content type. So now user can use this template. Similarly, you can add as many as you know, template with this content type from the admin center. So friends, that's how we can create a content type. And later on, we can associate our document template with the content type and use it on the document library. That's conclude our video demonstration. For more informative videos, you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos. I will see you guys in next video.